Hey folks, Martin here, and today we are going to do some print and play tokens for a print and play game. Uh, and I just happen to be in the middle of a build of a print and play game that's called um, Iron Helm. So this is what the uh, back of the bosses looks like. And I'm going to give you a little spoiler. Of, this is the uh, it's kind of a swords and sorcery um, fantasy kind of theme. And um, it looks very, it's, the art is all hand drawn. It's very beautiful. Even just the card backs of the dungeon cards, as you can see here. Very beautiful and thematic. Uh, this is a game by um, Jason Glover, and I will be placing a link to the print and where you can get the print and play files um, in the video description. But for now, we're focused on making the tokens for this game. And so that's what these guys are. And uh, materials that we'll be using to be able to complete this part of the build is we need um, the token files, which came from the print and play file, uh, which I printed on sticker labels. So let me show you what the, the full printout kind of looks like. Here's another page here. And this is a full page sticker label. In this case, it is uh, Avery brand. Uh, rather expensive, uh, relatively expensive one from, I got this from Staples or Office Max, I want to say. Um, but you can get these, I get these from uh, Amazon. There's a brand called Paxon, um, which costs about 11 to $12 for a pack of 100. Um, but anyway, I printed the sticker, uh, the, sorry, the token images on some sticker label paper and that's what these guys are then i cut them down from what you see here to this size because i'm going to then affix them to some vinyl floor tiles which i got from the home depot so this is a uh, sample vinyl floor tile and uh this is a free sample uh and as you can see here it's called uh traffic master uh Baden bay terracotta <clears throat> So this is the um, vinyl floor tile that we'll be affixing the uh, sticker labels to. And then I want to make them circle tokens. So I need to cut them out into circle tokens. And for that, I'm going to use my uh, Fiskars uh, thick one inch circle token punch, circle punch. That's what this guy is right here. And I'll be showing you all of that in just a second. If I need to cut anything out, I'm going to be using my uh, Fiskars um heavy duty scissors. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let's get started. So what we first thing we want to do is we want to put these um, images, these uh, sticker images, or sorry, these token images onto the vinyl floor tile. And for that, I'm going to remove the backing for the vinyl floor tile, because one of these uh, sides of the vinyl floor tile is um, adhesive. Cool. So we got that, throw that out. And then we're going to put uh, this sticker onto this surface here. So this, and um, we want to remove the backing of the sticker. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to uh, affix this to the corner of the tile as best I can. Sorry if my head goes in the frame, but I need to make sure that I am aligning this properly. All right. There we go. So as you can see, I've got the uh, sides of the token printout aligned with the uh, sides of the um, tile. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm actually going to cut uh, the excess off. Show you why in a minute. All right, make sure that cut is nice and straight. So I like to use to work with vinyl floor tile because it generates tokens that are nice and um, thick and substantial. They feel good in hand, but it's also possible to cut 
Uh, you see how thick it is, but it's also possible to cut these with scissors because they're made of vinyl. If this were an equivalent thickness of cardboard or a chipboard or something like that, it would be next to impossible to cut with a pair of scissors and it'd be harder to work with. All right, so we've so far we've got one side and um, we've got the sticker labels of the tokens on one side. And so now we've got to uh, affix these on the other side and make sure we are as straight as possible. And so the reason why we wanted to cut the, um, the backing down uh, to the appropriate size is to make it easier, make it easier to put um, the back on as straight as possible. All right, let's just quickly make sure that we're fixing this properly. Once again, pardon my head if it goes in the frame. I am just trying to align these guys as best I can. Okay, hopefully that is good enough for government work. Okay, so that's, now we've got a piece of vinyl floor tile with the stickers on both sides. So obviously we're going to be making double-sided stickers. Now the next step is we're going to be punching these out into circles using our uh, Fiskar circle punch. And as I have um, kind of shown before in other videos, uh, I don't like to do it like this um, because I don't, I can't see what I'm punching out. I like to uh, make the circle punch, uh, reverse it upside down, and then, then I can see what I'm doing and I can align my uh, design, my image there, and then I can punch it out like so. Cool. So I actually don't mind. So sometimes, you know, you're going to get a little bit of um, wear and cracking along the edges. That's um, kind of, you, you can't kind of help that with this procedure. But in this particular case for this game, um, I, I find it kind of, uh, it, it suits, it's kind of thematic. All right, so we've got one. We've got a few more to go here. There's two. three halfway there There's four There's five and there's six okay so now with a little bit of sticker labels and a little bit of vinyl floor tile, we have now generated um, six circle tokens for the game Iron Helm. And uh, we're just gonna keep on rolling away here. I've got a few more of the tops to go here and then a few more of the bottoms. And then I've got a few more, just a few more vinyl floor tiles uh, that I've been accumulating over the months. Like, you know, you go and you visit Home Depot and then you grab a few, uh, just a little little bit at a time and they kind of accumulate. Um, and then you've got a nice source of good um, cores for your um, tokens if you choose to go with the vinyl uh, floor tile token production technique. All right, so uh, that's it for now on how to make uh, print and play uh, tokens out of sticker labels and vinyl floor tile. Uh, until next time, this has been Martin. Hey, thanks for watching.